Finally, we're doing King of the Hill. Oasis. We're gonna start on city center. We want to go over to the bounce pad side. You can quickly roll across the glass to break it all, and then take the bounce pad up to the high ground. We then will sit up on the high ground and wait for the enemies to push in, and we can look for boops off the map, or just slam them when your team is also there. If the enemies don't go to the bounce pad side, and they decide to go main or the hallway, we can adapt by jumping on top of the center of point. You'll be in a very safe position up here, and then you can quickly drop down behind them, boop them in, and quickly retake high ground. The point is very big, so you can stall for quite a while just using the cover, or you can spin around from grappling the top. But as soon as your ball goes above the spot where you can stand, it doesn't count as you being on point. So we gotta spin a little slower and lower, or you can grapple in the middle of the pillar. If you crab mode, you'll be able to see the lantern a little better. You can wall jump off the center. It's just a normal hard wall jump, but not that hard. And the corners by the street side will be easy to wall jump. And also the trees. And if you're feeling super confident, you can even super jump off of the trees. And they will also bounce you high enough to get on top of the center pillar. Now, if we've won the point and we gotta defend it, we wanna reset up on the high ground by the bounce pad. So then we can watch if a DPS tries to take the flank or to take the bounce pad up to high ground but then also slam main as the rest of them push in. You can even ride the wall a bit to slam deeper as they push onto point. You also have the option of corner jumping over the roof into their spawn side and then going through from behind. Just be careful if they have a lot of CC or damage, it's dangerous. When we have to retake, we can grapple over the roof to the high ground side. Fight if there's any DPS up here and then we can drop down force point or roll through the enemies, slam them, anyone that's holding your choke. If there's too many people on the high ground and you can't win that fight, then we can just go to the car side of the map, through the street, dodge the cars, and it will be very easy to get behind, force point, and then go back line or do the normal thing on the choke. Second map, gardens. We wanna roll the coast side, and since you're so fast, you can most likely get all the way to their choke, and then hide there, and then even kind of rotate into the respawn, and then you can roll through them from behind as the teams meet in the middle. If they decide to go halls, we just push up a bit onto point and set up for a grapple here to boop them off as they come out the high ground. But if they stay in halls, shooting out the doorways, it's pretty risky to go in there. It's a very small tight space and against six people, you're just asking for death. We can just play on the high ground, peeking down the stairs, but don't commit unless we have a major advantage and we know that we won't die. When they're in there shooting out the doorways, they're not on point. So we don't need to rush and go too hard. We can even just sit on the side of the wall right close to them so that as soon as they drop out, you can boop and slam. We have some nice super jumps off of the bushes and the box underneath the window. To defend, we can just reuse what we did, hold by coast, wolf from behind. If they're expecting it or they scouted you out, we can also hide in the window. If we scouted them out and we know that they're going underneath on the other side, we can rotate and go for the boot clip for your montage. When we have to retake, once again, use coast again to get behind. It's helpful to know that you can also swing around the wall. If they're holding the double door choke, we can go from here. If they are holding on point, we can look to push our high ground as long as not all of them are up there, or we can just full flank through their halls. If we know that they are set up on the high ground, we can go over the other coast around the map and look to boot them off. And the final map, University. This one is the worst one for ball because it is so much smaller than the other ones and you won't be able to flank as easy. Roll out to control the high ground side. You'll get there pretty fast enough that you'll be able to even boop if anyone else tries to walk up the stairs. And we just want to fight, contest the people up here. And then from the window, we can drop out to slam on the walls or even four up behind them to boop through. It's gonna be a little more awkward with the signs in the way, but you can still sideswipe them and pretty much completely avoid the hallway side. Once again, it's a very tight room that you don't want to mess with. We can slam on point at any time using the hole. We can spin around the point, or we can grapple underneath to do the funny spin. And you can corner jump to get the DPS peeking window or for a quick escape. To defend, if you can get behind and do a roll through, that will be really good. But for the most part, it's just too dangerous. So stay on the high ground, contest the DPS as they come up, 
and get the boob as they walk up, the same as we would on the first fight. Retaking will be probably the most difficult. We can go over the coast, around, and then on behind to the high ground to then do your thing up here. And if you can't do that, then there's also underground. They'll probably hear you with the, the audio, but it'll still be an easy way to get behind. And either way, you get behind and you can force point, boop them through, slam them, pressure back line, whatever you gotta do. Thank you for continuously watching this series. Uh, I hope I've helped you out and I hope to see you in the next one.